Hi, I'm Paul Woodhouse of Olympus Controls, your local automation partner. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Denso robot and singularity avoidance. Earlier today I had an interview with Robbie the robot here, and uh, we'll get that, to that in just a minute. Before we do that, I'd like to talk about uh, some hardware uh, capabilities of the Denso robot. So on the smallest robots, like Robbie here, we, can, we have the option of either 110 or 240 volt input. We also have a pendant connector. We have Ethernet, which is TCP IP, 100 base T, and, it, and we also have serial, uh, serial capabilities. There's a mini I.O. connector that handles all of your uh, machine's inputs and outputs, as well as a hand I.O. connector that makes connection to direct, directly to the end of the robot easy. And of course, there is the robot standard safety circuits, handles a double E stop, and all of the latest ANSI specs. And lastly, the connection right here on the right provides the, uh, the power and the feedback to the robot in one easy to connect cable. The pendant has your typical creature comforts, such as a touch screen, a, a three position dead man switch, and a convenient e-stop. The robot can be programmed via the pendant or through offline software called MinCaps. Starting from the bottom up on the robot arm, we have the, the main power and feedback connector that goes back to the RC7 controller. We have air, in this case it's just air pass through, uh, different configurations on different robots. Um, and we also, there's always an IO pass through connector. In this case, it's a standard DB9 connection where you can pass, uh, pass the wiring through the robot arm up to the end effector without having to route anything on the outside of the robot. And now to my interview. Hello, we're here with Robbie, Robbie the Robot, and we're here to talk about singularity avoidance. Now, what is singularity avoidance? It's when two joints on a robot or more line up in a straight line, making it very difficult for the processor to handle the math. Basically, you can end up with an infinite number of ways to get to the same point, and it makes it difficult for a linear move. So, Robbie, is it true? Since you don't have a voice box, should I be only asking you yes or no questions? I see. Now, is it true that you used to suffer from singularity avoidance issues? Just as I thought. Now, tell me, does this look familiar? No, don't be scared. I thought so. That's the old controller. So Robbie, it's safe to say that like many robots on the market today, your old RC7 controller with that board in it caused you to have singularity issues. Now, with the new robot, with the new controller, you don't have any of those issues any longer. The singularity avoidance is standard with all the new, all the new controllers that are shipped. Now, Robbie, can you show me what it was like before you had singularity avoidance? Yep, you stopped pretty quick. Don't worry, I'll reset you. Now, can you show me that same move with singularity avoidance turned on? Doesn't that look smooth? Thank you. It was nice talking to you, Robbie. Well, talking at you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on Denso Robots, please call one of my automation engineers at Olympus Controls at 1-800-236-0607.